Good night and welcome to another review of the Shield Dude in the Couch. I'm Hector, the Shield Dude in the Couch, and tonight I'm going to talk about the band Midnight. So Midnight is a band from Cleveland, Ohio. They formed a few years ago and this is their fifth album. It's called Let There Be Witchery and it came out on Metal Blade Records last Friday. And this is a band that if I need to describe the sound of what this band sounds like, think of Venom having sex with Motorhead, they have a baby, and it's called Midnight, and that's what they sound like. They're very retro, they have influences of new wave of British heavy metal, punk, early black metal, and speed metal. And they do it pretty well, you know, I first heard of this band uh, two years ago when they released an album, I can't remember the name of that album right now, and they have like a like a gimmick you know the lead singer and everyone in the band has like a black hood uh that covers their faces they have some leather jackets with some bullets it's a band that they would have fit so well in the 80s uh, metal scene because they play the part you know they they look like what they sound like and this album i thought that it had some interesting moments to it I'm not gonna lie, but there's some moments that kind of lost me, so I'm gonna talk about those. So, to me, the highlights in this album is the first song, Telepathic Nightmare, which opens the album so great, you know, a lot of energy right off the bat, and you get what you pay for, you know, it's no, no bells, no whistles, it's just straight metal, uh, a lot of punk, punk elements to it, uh, the vocals are very raw, uh, very in your face, very black metal style type of vocals. And that uh, first song really puts you in for the mood of what this album will sound like. It's an album that's 10 songs, 34 minutes in length, so it goes by pretty quickly. And that song is basically, it sounds, it's, it's the best representation of the song and also the last song on the album, Sex with Cherie, and it's sex with an S and then a C, I don't know why. And that song has a great video to it, and if you want to see what the band looks like, just watch that video for Sex with Cherie, and that song is pretty catchy too, and it ends the album on a high note. So the beginning song and the last song to me are the highlights of the album. So the middle of the album, you know, it's it has some interesting tunes, uh, don't get me wrong, but the problem that I have with this album is that it's uh, after a while, it starts to sound kind of repetitive. And you know, uh, sometimes uh, I would like lose like concentration on it because like one song would go into the next and I'm like, well, uh, this sound exactly like what I just heard. So that was the problem that I had with the album. Also the band, you know, they like to shock people. They have a lot of vulgar, uh, album titles that go with the image, like there's a song called Let There Be Sodomy, no thank you. <laughs> then there's a song called Nocturnal Molestation, and if you read the lyrics, you know, it's very disturbing. They're talking about going out and doing some molestations, and it's, uh, I don't agree with the message of the song, even though it's a pretty catchy number, but you know, it's kind of dark. And there's a song called uh, Devil Virgin, uh, so you know they, it's kind of tongue-in-cheek, but you know they, they like that shock value, it's very in influenced by Venom, you know, they, this band has a lot of Venom in it, you know, Venom in the 80s, they were a true uh, shocking band at the time when they put out that the, their first albums, they really scared the bejesus out of people back in the day. And this band really pays homage to those early bands, there's a lot of Venom in it, there's a lot of Motorhead, like I said, but there's also uh, a lot of like early Iron Maiden Killers album with Paul Diano, that type, that type of singing. I can hear it a lot in a band like Midnight. So I enjoyed the album. There's parts in the album that I thought they were fun, but at the end of the day, I would have liked a little bit more of experimentation. Like they sound good. And they definitely, the production on the album, you can hear everything so crisp, you know, the guitars, the bass, the drums, uh, everything sounds very good, very well production. But when you have a band that's paying homage to that classic style of metal, like it, it's good, but you would like them to have like a new twist on it, you know, add something, but they really don't add anything to it. So 
that's the only like problem I had with this album. I think it's an enjoyable album. Enjoyable album. Uh, I wouldn't say it's bad. I wouldn't say it's great. I would say it's okay. You know, uh, a little repetitive for my taste. But if you like Venom, if you like that style, you will dig this. So if you like this video, you know, give me a like. Likes are free. Uh, think about subscribing for the channel. I have more content coming your way. And comment, what did you think about uh, Midnight's Let There Be Witchery? Do you think they're overhyped? Or do you think that what they play is, the, is so awesome that you need to hear, have more of it? So, until next time, I'm Hector, the Shield doing the Couch, and I'll see you right here next time on the couch. Thank you and good night.